That apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. All right, that fuse box is not gonna fix itself. Fuses go into plugs. Look at what? Should be easy the enough. Damn needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to send that part down. We could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot of work for an old door. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Well, until, <laughs> until I got hurt. Damn. That's rough. must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> mm. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box?
Here, hold this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh... Damn it. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. <laughs> That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Ugh, there's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh, like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? <laughs> hey now, watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm-hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it, too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. And oil in the spring. Linseed? Hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. Teak is what you want. Let's try this one. See that little silver bit? It needs to be forced back onto the brass bit. That's probably what was jamming it in the first place. Probably so. You got a good head for this stuff. Yeah, well, you're not the only person who used to fix stuff around here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much took an army to keep this place standing. Yeah, so, um, speaking of doors, we... Hmm? Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Bye. What was that about? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Hey there, little buddy. Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Wonderful. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. 
She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Come on, it's gonna get infected. To. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory is a tricky thing, huh? job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. 
Now what? You go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh, well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kinda rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I feel like I've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass, it's just... hard. This whole damn situation is hard. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town? These people? They're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends. My family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right?
picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. It's pretty crazy Tina found someone willing to pay cash for a house out here, huh? Yeah. Who has that kind of money and wants to buy a house in Delos Crossing? Now we'll never know. We'll get another buyer. Hmm. Hopefully. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. So, I have to warn you, I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. He won't have a choice. We're not ten years old anymore. He'll probably say he's too busy to talk. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking for conflict. Just answers. <laughs> Let's be honest. Lately, that's been pretty much the same thing. I haven't been trying to pick fights. You know that, right? I just want closure, that's all. I know. I need some of it too. Hey, look what I found. Aha, I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. 